guys, my name is Jordan and in today's video I'm going to be doing summer book recommendations. These books just give off summer vibes and I feel like you could read them like a nice day in the park or like on the beach. Some of these books I've read and then some of these books I plan to read this summer. We can start off with The Summer I Turned Pretty series by Jenny Han. So I've read the first book in the series and I want to like finish reading them before the show comes out because I'm looking forward to that. I thought the book was really cute. I think it was like a good intro into the story. I'm looking forward though to see more character and story development. The story takes place where every summer a girl named Belly goes to Cousins Beach with her family to see her mom's best friend Susanna and Susanna's two sons Conrad and Jeremiah. Belly has been in love with Conrad forever and she hopes this summer things will be different and he will see her differently. Belly ends up in trouble when she has two guys showing interest in her. We have Conrad's brother Jeremiah and a guy named Cam. The next two books that I want to read is Beach Read and People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. I've heard so many good things about these books and I cannot wait to read them. But look at the covers. They literally make you want to like sit by a pool or be on the beach somewhere reading them. Another book that I haven't read yet but I cannot wait to read is My Life Next Door. It's about a girl named Samantha who is like a very organized person and her mom's a politician and she becomes involved with the boy next door which is someone that mommy would not approve of. It seems very very interesting and intriguing and it's giving me like after vibes so like I'm really excited about that. Like literally like the top of the cover it says a boy, a secret, and a choice. So yeah I'm really excited. Next we have We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. I give this book like a 3.5 to 4 out of 5 stars. If you love the vibes of mystery, thriller, and outer banks then you'll probably like this book. It is very detailed and kind of of a slow burn at first. There is a major plot twist that you do not see coming and it literally broke me. I was like, what did I just read? Next, we have Heartbones by Colleen Hoover, which is a great summer read as well. This story is about a girl named Bea who's had like a rough life and she's had to deal with like poverty and neglect. Her mom ends up passing away and she's literally being evicted the same night. Bea has no other option but to reach out to her father and they have like an estranged relationship. She ends up moving with him for the summer, but he has like no clue why she's really there. So while Bea's there, she meets the neighbor, Samson. And and he's rich and they have like this strong bond with each other. They decide to have a summer fling because they have normal lives that they have to get back to once the summer's over. When summer comes to an end, they don't really want to end things with each other. It's a great book. You guys should read it because Colleen Hoover made it. She never disappoints me when I read her book. So this is not really a summary book, but I do think you guys need to read Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating by Christina Lauren. I love this book so much. The book was so cute. It has friends to lovers trope, the friendship, and the banter, and like the writing of this book. So good. There was just like a perfect flow. It's a fast-paced book so it's a very easy read. Okay so basically best friends Hazel and Josh haven't had like the best relationships in the past so they decide to set each other up on blind dates. Hazel and Josh they go on these double dates with each other. By the end of the night they always end up with each other. Throughout the dates they're like always drifting away from their date. They're always with each other whether it's like conversation or like they're playing games like they just they're always with each other and it is so cute. Another one by Christina Lauren is The Unhoneymooners. This is like the perfect rom-com to read on the beach. I could totally see this as a movie. It gave me like the proposal vibes. It's an enemies to lovers and we love a good enemies to lovers. Well, Olive's sister Amy just got married. Her sister is like really good at winning contests. Like she won her whole wedding. Like she didn't have to pay for any expenses. Her sister won a 10 day resort trip for their honeymoon. Basically everybody gets food poisoning at the wedding except Olive and her nemesis Ethan. Ethan is the best man and they just don't like each other. Like they're always arguing with each other. They're always bickering. They cannot stand to be in a room with each other but basically Amy and her husband Dan they want them to take the trip to the honeymoon because it's non-refundable and it's a free trip so why not? They both agree and they pretend to be the new married couple on their honeymoon but like the more that they play pretend the more true feelings are showing. It's really good. I loved it. I enjoyed it. It was really good read. It took me a little bit longer to finish it than normal but it's a great book. You guys should read it. If you guys want you can follow my social media. I'll link it down below. If you guys like this video give it a thumbs up, comment down below, hit the subscribe button, and thank you for watching.